Hello, everyone. Um, so Ashton Irwin just, well, not just, he released an album like two days ago, three days ago. I was going to record a video of me reacting to it when it came out, but it was a day before my birthday and I had a surprise dinner that day, so I couldn't. And then I had some stuff to go through. That sounds like I had a mental breakdown, I know. But now I'm here. All right, so I was, I was a bit surprised by this thing he wanted to do. Like, um, I, I wasn't expecting it, especially no after. Not found. Ready to connect. I found the mic. Let me talk. Um, yeah, especially after, you know, Calm had just come out a few months ago. But it's like, you know what? Good for him. Go make your art, buddy. Go make your art. Okay, so we're gonna start now. <laughs> Okay, so let's hear the album. Honestly, I'm very excited because I already heard Skinny Skinny, don't you think about the future? So I'm very excited about this album. Let's hear it. Okay, the first one is Scar. Oh my god! I absolutely love this. I, I was not expecting this at all. Lyrics. Just can we have him singing more in Five Seconds of Summer? Cause <laughs> oh my God! Wow! Nos despertamos bravas, eh? The amount of times my hair is gonna change in this video, I will be counting it while I'm editing it. Edit, editing it. Editing? Ed. Oh god, this is so good! And this is the first time! What? Wow, uh, not at all what I was expecting, like, at all. Um, I am looking forward to listening to the rest of the album, that is for sure. Next one, found, have you found what you're looking for? Which sounds interesting, I, I think I know what this is about from the title. Let's see. Oh, the intros are so good! Two songs into the album. That's like a soundtrack, so good! His voice is so good! How how ah! no, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get into it. Yes! Oh my god, I'm up uh, with goosebumps. <laughs> music, man, music is the best thing in the world. <laughs> oh my god! I am standing. The way and then the way out. <gasps> Could it be like like getting into fame and now that he has had a, had a you know knows how it is he wants a way out because mm, uh, okay. Guitars. Oh, so good. I. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have so many thoughts. This is. This can only get better. Mr. Ashton Irwin, you are exceeding my expectations. Okay, so now it's Skinny Skinny. I already listened to it. I know what it is about, and it's so sad, but it's still so beautiful. And the video is so cool. It's so. It just screams art, and I love it. I love it so much. And then he's magic mirrors. It's so cool. I love it. I love it so much. I think it's it's very cool for him to speak about this, you know? Because it's something like mainstream artists don't generally speak about, you know, um, eating disorders, and that he 
put it into a song and made a video about it. Like, I think it's very cool. I think it's very good. And it's so sad. Like I said it before, but it's really sad. Like the fact that I want to, I want to eat, but I want to stay thin. Like you can feel his pain through this song. Like his frustration. Of, can I eat? Because I really want to, but I also need to stay thin. You know, especially when he got famous at such a young age. It must have been really hard. I'm such a fan of this instrumental. Ah, they're so good. I love music so much. Such a great song, my god. Uh, I am loving this album. I am absolutely loving it and the vibe it has is so cool. Now we have Greyhound. Also, can we talk about the animations in Spotify? Like, look at that. They're so cool. I love them. It's, it just has like this, I don't know where to place it, but this vibe of like survival, like, I love it so much. Oh. oh my god! <gasps> chills again! Chills again! <laughs> so, oh my god, the lyrics are so good! Ascending again, again. Oh my god! You can feel his pattern. Oh my god! I am overwhelmed by this amount of art. Oh, I love it when they do that in this song. You know, like instrumental, instrumental, then just voices. Oh my god! I am loving this so much. getting more and more speechless the more we get into the album because this is not what I expected at all like at all at all I, I, I don't know what I was expecting like I wasn't expecting this and I am so glad that this is what is happening okay it's so good it's so good oh my god why didn't Ashton Irwin decide to release an album sooner I I think it would have been a great decision. <laughs> okay, so now we have Matter of Time, which is an interlude. And I must say, I love interludes so much. I think it's such a cool thing to do in albums. But yeah, let's hear it. Is he trying to kill me? Is he trying to kill me? I said it before and I say it again. I will I will get more and more speechless the more we get into this album. Yeah, Matter of Time hit me hard. Beautiful song. I think this one has the number one place right now. Now it's uh now it's sunshine. I'm loving this album so much. Um yeah, let's hear it. This instrumentals man are so good. Ooh. I feel as if we were sitting and he was telling us a story, you know, like in a fireplace. I don't know if that makes sense, but I, <laughs> yeah, that's how. It, but that's what. It, that's what it feels like. Like he's just telling us stories, and we're listening. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just like so nice. Such a nice vibe. Oh, I love that. 
Oh, I loved it. I feel like it's it's like about you know um, music about him trying to remind himself how much he loves it and how much he loves making it and how much how fame doesn't have to cancel that. I feel like it's him trying to find his love for music again, like that feeling when you first begin, like that line, see the sunshine just like the first time, I feel like that's really telling, like search what you first saw in it the first time you, you started making it, like fall in love with that thing you first fall in love, you first fell in love. <laughs> I think I, that's what I, I interpret, I'm gonna see what Genius has to say about it. Next song is The Sweetness. Let's hear it. Oh yeah. I love this vibe so much. It feels like a superhero. I feel like for a moment I felt very nostalgic and now I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> That was a bit creepy, but cool. I felt like a jump scare was gonna come out for a moment, but it didn't. The instrumentals are so pretty. I think that one was the one I liked the least until now. I still liked it. I I, I liked it. <laughs> I've liked every single song in this album, but I think I think this one's the one I liked the least. The next one is I'm to blame. The amount of drums. I am loving this so much. Oh, mister. Oh, yes, yeah, so good. <laughs> okay, so the next one's called Drive. Look at the little animation, it's so cute. Look, 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 look. It's a car, it's a tiny car in the desert. I love it. Ooh, nice. Oh, da, da, da. I love that. I love that lyric. So simple, I love it. That, oh. I'm not ready for this to end. <laughs> oh, kind of mysterious. <laughs> what? What? This? He chose the perfect time to release it. Like this is what sounds like so mysterious and. Halloweenish. I love it. Okay. Wow, this is so intense. Whoop. <laughs> I I called it. I am speechless. <laughs> In shock. <laughs> it's the whole album is just so honest and so raw and so like yeah i think the best word to describe it is sincere like completely honest not not hiding stuff but not just like explicitly putting them away like it's still abstract in some ways but it's completely real com and, and, and raw I, it's just so good i don't know i think I think it's like his soul exploding from years and years of, you know, it just feels like being in a band restrains you in some way. 
And it doesn't mean it has to be bad. The experience doesn't have to be bad. But, like, um, I, I imagine it definitely, you know, holds you back from doing things you want to do. And, and I don't know. It I guess it feels really nice that he's letting himself, like, let all of that out. And in such a such a nice way. Like, this album was so, so good. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> like, like, I really enjoyed all of it so much. The music, the instrumentals, the instruments, the vocals. Oh my god, the vocals were so amazing. Like, why why doesn't he sing more in the band? What, bleh, bleh, bleh. I thought I wasn't going to get into it. <laughs> Do you remember that, um, like, a B-side they released? And it's a part where he is singing, I think it's Try Hard. He sings on his own. It's so good. And that part when he's like uh, in this in the in the in Don't Stop. And when he's like, Don't stop, stop what you're doing. You know that, you know that I like it. I uh, oh, I love it so much. I I'm going to I'm gonna rank the songs because I never do that in my reaction videos to albums but I'll do it I'll do that starting now so I'll go get a notebook to write and see and I'll get back to you I'll be back oh, I don't know Ooh. okay I'm back <laughs> I have my ranking um so the first one is as I mean you saw my reaction it has to be a matter of time it's it hit me very hard. It's so beautiful and I loved it so much. That's number one. So beautiful. Then at number two we have Sunshine. Number three we have How You Found What You're Looking For. It's such an anthem. And instrumentals, like, I loved it. It's so good. So good. Then number four, we have Scar, the very first one. It's really good. The lyrics and the passion of all is just so good. <laughs> and number five, we have Skinny Skinny, which was the first single. And it's so catchy. And besides, like, the lyrics are so powerful. And that's what I'm getting at when I said it was very sincere. Like, this was one of those. Like, it's, like, so much into the thoughts of someone with a disorder like this one. And he obviously had one, so it's, I don't know, it's just so raw. It's just the best word to describe it. On number six, we have Drive. It's, I don't know, I just think it's so simple and so nice. And, like, you just go with the song. It's so, so nice. And little, da -da -da, I love it. <laughs> Then on number seven we have Greyhound. It's like a survival soundtrack. So good. Like you feel like you're running and, and adrenaline and oh, it's so good. The the vibe it has is so good. And in number eight, I'm to blame. Uh, Cause I don't know. It's it's it feels a different vibe. Like him realizing stuff he hadn't thought about before, and he's like. Oh wait, so that's why that happened, or oh, so I was the one who caused it? Like, I don't know, it's like him coming to find out things he hadn't thought about, and I like that. Then we have the sweetness. I liked it, It's it has a really nice beat, and instrumentals, and the lyrics are really cool. But I don't know, I didn't connect with it as much as the others. So we're gonna give it the number 9. And finally, number 10, we're gonna give it to the last song in the album, Perfect Lie. It's just, I, I don't know, it's a bit of a too much mysterious tone for me, but it's still very good. I liked it, like I said, I liked every single song in this album. So that's it, I hope you liked this video. Um, again, I'm sorry for it arriving a bit late, but as I said, I was doing some stuff and I'm a bit busy because I just got accepted into college Woo! so I'm a bit busy doing all that but yeah I hope you like this go listen to this album it's so good so so good and if you like this video if you like it subscribe if you like 
I sing and I have reacted to other albums, so if you'd like to see some more of that, go watch them. All of my social media are down in the description. If you want to follow me in some other places, I have an Instagram and a Twitter and a TikTok, so go follow me over there. And yeah, I hope to see you soon. Hope you enjoy this video and go listen to the album. Go, go listen to the album. It's so good. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments. Okay, bye.